Good evening, college football fans. My name is Harry James Taylor, and I've, as I've broken down every single team uh, from the big-time conferences, I'll do that again tonight with the SEC. The SEC was split into six teams. Now it's at seven teams apiece, with them stealing two teams from the Big 12 Conference. The seven-team league includes, on the east side, the Florida Gators, the sixth-ranked Georgia Bulldogs, the Kentucky Wildcats, the Missouri Tigers, the eighth-ranked South Carolina Gamecocks, the Tennessee Volunteers, and the Vanderbilt Commodores. The winner of this division, I think, is going to be the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh... You know, they played South Carolina last year. They played them kind of down to the wire. Uh, South Carolina kind of won that game on a fake fake punt. I think that now, I think that Mark Richt and those guys are going to be ready for that kind of uh, preparation, and meaning that they're going to win the eastern half of the SEC. Down out to the west, this is where you're going to get a lot of good teams. Like, <clears throat> third ranked and defending national champion. Alabama Crimson Tide. My pick to win the division, the Arkansas Razorbacks. Number nine in the country. The Auburn Tigers. The second ranked and played Alabama in that national championship, second ranked LSU Tigers. <laughs> The uh, Mississippi State Bulldogs, the Ole Miss Rebels, and former Big 12 Union, Texas A&M Key non-conferenceable games that you look forward to. These are the games that every single fan looks forward to. Well, here they are. The Kentucky Wildcats will play at Louisville Cardinal in the Big e from the Big East. Uh... Also, in the Georgia Dome will be these two games. University of Tennessee from the SEC and North Carolina State from the ACC. Also, the next night, they will have Auburn from the SEC and the 18th ranked Clemson Tigers from the ACC. Also, to finish off that non-conference week, you cannot have it any other way, in my opinion, than two conference champion title contenders. And that would be the number three, Alabama Crimson Tide, and the number ten, Michigan Wolverines from the Big Ten. They will play their tilt at Cowboys Stadium in the Cowboys Classic. That should be pretty interesting there. Uh, along with that, they've also now on to week two, where the Vanderbilt Vanderbilt Car Vanderbilt Condom Commodores will play North the Northwestern will play Northwestern from the Big Ten. Also, the Washington Huskies from the Pac-12 will play at LSU the Tigers wow. Tiger Stadium. Tigers are on the prowl. Uh, week 3, Arizona State Sun Devils from the Pac-12 play at Missouri from the SEC. That's a rematch of last year's just awesome game that, they, that Missouri and, and Arizona State played just before they played us in the uh, Big 12 opener last year. Next on the docket will be 22nd ranked Texas from the Big 12 will be at Ole Miss from the SEC. Fourth weekend, you'll have the Rutgers Scarlet Knights from the Big East at Arkansas. Week 12, you move back out of conference and we'll get the Syracuse Orange at Missouri. And, of course, week 13, this is the big one. These are, this is the big week where a lot of these non-conference teams play the non-conference rivals like, for example, number 25, Florida, at number 7, Florida State Seminoles from the ACC. Georgia Tech from the ACC. At 6th-ranked Florida. Uh, from the SEC, 8th-ranked South Carolina 
will play number 18th ranked Clemson out of the ACC. Uh, and that's it for that one. Uh, also that week we'll have Thunderbolt at Wake Forest from the ACC. And then finally we'll have that big title game. It'll be Georgia at Arkansas. In this scenario, it's kind of hard for me to pick. If I ha if you're going to make me pick a pick a team right now, it's probably going to be Arkansas. They've got a, a tougher road. They would have played number three, Alabama, and number two, LSU, at home in Fayetteville. They got some confidence into doing that, so they know how to win in the league. Uh, that's my breakdown of the SEC. Uh, if you have thoughts, if you have your mind, let it be known. I don't care. Uh, let it be known. Click on the little addition and, and, and give me your thoughts. Those are just my thoughts on what I think is going to happen in the SEC. I appreciate you guys for watching. And as always, Boomer Sooner.